Good morning! From Dambulla. We started off our day with an amazing breakfast, which consisted of a roti made from coconut and rice flour, which was stuffed with vegetables and eggs, all perfectly spiced. And then we washed that down with an avocado juice and some tea. It was absolutely incredible and it really made us wonder why we don't make food simple like that at home with just natural ingredients. And maybe the key is using fewer ingredients but using spices more plentifully because I feel like people would eat healthier if the vegetables and eggs and everything just tasted that good. Agreed. Absolutely wonderful. But that was a good way to start your birthday. It was. So it's my birthday. Happy birthday, babe. Thanks. <laughs> I'm turning the ripe old age of 34. And to celebrate that, then we're going to go have a look at some temples. Yeah, we're going to the Dembola Cave Temple, which is on the same site as the Golden Temple. And our host has informed us that it's about a 1.5 kilometer walk away, although I think Google thinks it's a little bit more. So... Guess we'll find out. Yeah. just arrived to the Dembolo Rock Cave Temple and our tickets were 2,000 rupees each which is about eight Canadian dollars each. UNESCO World Heritage Site. It dates back to the first century BCE and yet it is the most well-preserved cave temple complex in all of Sri Lanka as well as being the largest one. That's right. Apparently there are about 80 different caves in this particular area but these five are among the largest and most sacred and so therefore UNESCO decided to preserve these. We just went into our first one and it was magnificent because there was this huge Buddha statue lying on its side. And for me, it's just so hard to imagine that this statue is actually carved into the rock. Yeah, the fact is, what, 14 feet in length as well? It's amazing because also, like, not only is it carved into the rock, but it's just got so much detailing. There's ridges on the robes that were worn and everything. It's very, very intricate indeed. It's a beautiful thing. I can't wait to see the other four. Me neither. Clearly these Buddha statues didn't get the memo. We just came 
came out of the largest cave temple and wow, it is so spectacular. It has the most incredibly detailed painted ceilings and all of the statues in there are painted in just beautiful colors of the rainbow. It is so visually pleasing. It's incredible. Apparently there's about 50 different statues in there and just again, the detail in the carving, but especially the detail in the ceilings was spectacular. The fact that they managed to preserve it this well is really testament to everybody who's worked on it. Yeah, the colors are so vibrant and again, it's so different than anything I've ever seen before. I don't think I've ever been into a Buddhist temple and I would compare the calmness and tranquility I feel to whenever I go into a mosque. It's not similar in any sense, but the feeling you get is similar. smaller version of the same one in that it still had a plethora of different Buddha statues as well as beautifully painted ceilings. So that was absolutely amazing and then we moved across them to the fourth and fifth ones then they were significantly smaller but obviously there were still shrines there, still city Buddhas and there was still a lion Buddha in the fifth one. And they just seemed to be not as well maintained although they were still very vibrant and the ceilings were decorated. I think my favorite part of this all has been the rainbow halos that seem to go around the top of the sitting Buddhas and also the pillows that the lying Buddhas heads are resting on. Just the decoration on those is incredible and of course we can't forget about those ceilings. The detail and color is spectacular. I think that's pretty much our time at the rock temple but now we're going to try and find our way to the golden temple which apparently is not that far down the road. Wish us luck. And we have found the giant Buddha that gives the Golden Temple its name. This is the either the largest or the tallest or both Buddha in the Dhamma Chaka posture. Not sure what that means by way of the religion but um, it's basically like that. It is very impressive. It is enormous mm -hmm. and uh, included in the price of our ticket so why not come by and see this huge Buddha? Exactly. So there is technically a Buddhist museum at the same time, which I believe does cost an extra ticket. But uh, there's a set of doors off to the left, which means that you can bypass all of that and just see the Buddha up close. So that's what we ended up doing and it cost us nothing. So that's great. which had a very, very sanitized, westernized menu. And we looked at it, looked at each other, and both realized this just wasn't what we wanted. 
and so we immediately went on Google Maps and ended up finding this one place which is about a two to three minute walk down the road which is much more our speed. So this is where we're trying out a bunch of different Sri Lankan dishes. We have no idea what's really in them. We're just going to keep trying as we go along. We just asked the service to provide whatever they recommended. And so we're just going to give it a go. So we're about halfway in. How do we think everything's going? This is so good. I am really happy that we were rude, although we had not ordered anything yet. After an absolutely incredible set of food, we then got asked if we wanted dessert. We said yes, and we've been presented with this. It's called Watala Pam. No idea what's in it, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks like a sort of pudding kind of thing, but I guess we'll find out. That is nice. I just can't quite put my finger on what the flavour is. It's kind of like slightly ginger or the this or that. So, yeah. It's interesting. We just got back from Nick's birthday dinner and I hope it was all you wanted in the end. It really was, yeah. I think um, had we opted to stay in that like hotel restaurant, then we definitely wouldn't have been happy. Again, the menu is way too westernized and just wasn't the sort of experience we were gunning for, especially for our sort of first proper night out in Sri Lanka as well. I think where we ended up was just perfect. The White staff was super helpful because we had no idea what we were doing, but they basically just guided us through the whole experience, which was fantastic. It and was a buffet, to be clear. Yeah, but not an all-you-can-eat buffet. So yeah, basically you say to the white staff that you want the buffet, and then there's a whole host of dishes in front of you, and you just tell the server what you want, and then that comes on top of a bed of rice. And they have so many options. I just went for all vegetarian. And I opted for just a little bit of chicken. I also asked for fish, but I don't think we got that in the end, but <laughs> there we go. It was absolutely delicious. I cannot recommend it enough. I don't know if we said the name of it. I think it's called Sambol. Yeah, so S-A-M-B-O-L-E. -E. And um, we're in Dambola, if we hadn't made that clear enough. Yeah, and yeah, honestly, if you want a good first experience to really try proper Sri Lankan cuisine, that's the way forward. I'm sure you can get much cheaper food here, mm -hmm. but this was a huge amount of food and I wouldn't classify it as expensive by any stretch. The whole meal, which included like, as I said, the huge, you saw the huge portions for both of us, plus that pudding dessert that you tried, plus a one liter bottle of water, yeah. was 12 Canadian dollars. And also for the record, that pudding actually did kind of grow on me over time. Um, it was kind of ginger and caramel molasses kind of thing. It was like a creme caramel with extras. So actually, if you're into that sort of thing, then it's really good. But I will say this was like the quickest birthday dinner because we arrived at maybe 7.50 yeah. and we were out by 8.30, I want to say. Yeah, they don't hang around on service around here, but it was a great experience. I'm very, very happy. I think between that and the cave samples that we saw this morning, then realistically it's been, it's been a great day. Not a typical birthday either. Like Not at in all. a foreign country, I couldn't get you a card or anything like that. <laughs> so today was okay. all about just having an experience, having good food, having but like time. you get to say you celebrated your birthday in Sri Lanka. That's pretty awesome. Exactly. That's a very unique collector's item. And I'm very, very happy to have brought in my 34th year alongside you doing all of this as well. It's been great. Thank happy you. Happy birthday, babes. But with that, then I think we're going to wrap this one up and turn in for the night. So until the next time, take care. And keep smiling. Thank you.